Greetings, friend. I'll show you step by step how well Sudoku World Champion Tan Tan Dai solved this classic Sudoku for a Cracking the Cryptic live video, despite being outside in February in the freezing cold. You won't believe the Sudoku shortcut she used, nor the huge marking mistake that she had to correct. Puzzle and video links are in the description below. And with that, it's solving time. So Tantan starts out and notices there's quite a few fives. And so does some Snyder notation here in block six and block five. Snyder notation anytime, three by three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate. You mark it. In case we solve one of these, you can solve the other right away. And in this case, since the fives are in rows five and six, in blocks five and six, a five has to be up here in row four in block four. So Tan Tan solves that for a five. And then notices with these two fives, solves for five in block seven, and then brings it up with this five to solve five in block one. After that, Tantan looks across row four, sees that there's a six and seven right here, so they end up being a hidden pair. And the way Tantan solves, she just does the corner markings, uh, they double as center marks. So that's the way it's going to appear. Also, I turn off the conflict checker because of the mistake that you're going to see a little bit later. It only makes sense if the contact conflict checker is off, and that's the way Tantan solved. With that 6-7, then Tantan puts a 1-3 right here in block 6. And quickly notices here this 3-7 and 3-7. And so it marks the 3-7 hidden pair right here. This all takes place in about 10 seconds. So very, very fast. And then sees with this 6, you can solve for 6 right here. So she does that. And then puts the 4-9 to finish block 4. This is a really quick... Uh, Tantan -tan looks down right here, takes a couple seconds, and realizes that this could only be a 4 or a 9. You got a 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, and an 8 all looking at that cell. So this is a quick naked pair 4, 9. I wouldn't have spotted that so quickly. And this makes an interesting pattern that we're going to get back to a little bit later. And so with this naked pair, Tantan -tan puts, is able to put a 2 there and a 1 there to finish column 1. After that, Tantan starts looking at the fours, sees that this four becomes a pointing pair of fours. So since the fours are restricted here in column three in block one, a four can't be anywhere else down this column. And then starts looking at the twos. This is with this two and this two, two spots for two here in block eight. And then with this two cutting across and this two, two spots for two in block seven. Okay, and then with these twos and this two, Tantan puts twos in block three. And then starting to look around a little bit more, slowing up a little bit, but sees with these fours, has fours in block eight. Got help a little bit. And realize when she's solving this, this is on a cracking the cryptic video, she is outside in the freezing cold using this computer solver. It's February. It's a snow-covered field behind her. Uh, normally in competition, Tantan's using paper and pencil. So it's completely foreign, but she's blazed through this in about a minute, roughly, at this point. And then notices right here with this one and this one, you can solve for one right here, which opens up quite a few more possibilities. But this does bring us up to our first pause the video moment, because you're not going to believe the next solve she makes. The next solve Tan Tan makes is she puts a four right there. So pause the video and see if you can work out why this cell can be a four while I give you a few seconds. Okay, congratulations. If you spot this, you are amazing at Sudoku shortcuts. Those of you who just want to enjoy the show, I had a look in the comments to see how she made that solve. What Tan Tan saw is that the fours are restricted to these two cells in block seven. And so what she said is there's a uniqueness problem here. If you put a nine right there, then you put a nine here, a four there, and a four there, and you'd have more than one solution. So she assumed there's going to be, you know, the puzzle has unique solution. And so she did a uniqueness trick and said, well, we can't have that. So a nine can't go here. She knows with this three, 
digits as we nine. If you fill this out, you actually will see that there is a unique rectangle type one in this situation. You have a four nine here, here, and here. And in this cell, you have a four nine with a three. And by watching my tutorial videos, you would know that you can remove the four nine right here and solve this for a three to avoid that deadly trap if this puzzle had a unique solution. So you can solve it for a three. So that's what Tan Tan does. The easier way to move on from this spot is to notice this is a pointing pair of fours and that you could just remove that four, solve this for four, and solve that for a two. That would probably be the normal way to go from this spot in the puzzle. But Tan Tan is the world champion and puts a four right there and then quickly puts a four and a nine right here. And we're going to move on to the spot where she makes a huge mistake. You're not going to believe it. And you got to see how she gets herself out of that. Okay, after doing the nine and the four, Tan Tan then is able to put the three right here. Uh, just noticing that it was a naked single three. It's pretty impressive. So that's a seven, and that's going to be a three right there. And then Tan Tan comes up here and finishes out column two by putting a nine right there uh then looks at where the sixes and go it actually just marks all these and goes this is a four six seven naked triple those can be sixes and those can be sevens and it comes down here and goes this is a two eight nine naked triple uh these can be all nines and these can be eights and just kind of gets rid of the Snyder mark and uses that to know that there's a triple three digits locked in those blocks okay after doing that Looks and sees the ones here and can and put Snyder ones in block two. And then uh, finally sees that this four can eliminate the four from right there. Displacing that Snyder four, displacing the Snyder two. So she makes those solves pretty quickly. And then comes up here and very quickly notices with this two and this two and the hidden pair, that's a two. And then with these ones, that's a one. And this is going to end up being uh, a nine, actually because she sees these nines so that's a nine and tan tan is doing these all super fast it was like two one nine all less than a second right there allows her to displace that five and actually solve this cell now four and eight like she notices these eights solves that four and eight and then solves this for a five solves that for a two pretty quick and puts a four eight right here so we're getting close to where she makes the huge blunder Okay, after this 4 8, she now sees with these twos. You can solve for two right there. And then in block seven, she noticed now with the twos and that these nines are actually a pointing pair. Nines are restricted right here because of this nine coming down, that that has to be the eight. This has got to be your two, and that's going to be a nine. Got my neat naked triple trick here using the two and the nine, and then the two repeat it. Awesome. She does put the nines. Then right there in block eight. And then comes over here and, and notices that this can be a nine because notices that that's a nine. This is a nine. It's actually a pointing pair of nines. She doesn't mark that, but a pointing pair of nines in block three with this nine and this nine. So she solves this cell for a nine. And then notices because of this three, that this is a pointing pair of threes to come up here into block two. And she's allowed to solve for a three because of this three right here. That's gonna be a three. And then puts a one. Notices that there's a one right there in block five. Puts a one right here. And here's where she makes the big mistake. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Now I've turned off the conflict checker but she puts a five right here, like looks and sees five, 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 and puts a five right there. And so it's not going to turn red. Normally it would turn red in Hadoku, or excuse me, in Sudoku pad if you have that there. And this continues on marking, like didn't even notice. Five there, then sees with this nine that this is a nine, and then does a nine and Continues on and puts a six right here. I'm not sure why she thought this could be a six, but she does. So she puts a six there and she puts a six, seven here. And then she comes up and I don't see this one either, but 
she puts a six here, a seven here, and a four right there. Logically, I'm not seeing how you can get those digits from what is showing, but she does it. And then comes here and sees a seven and goes seven and a six right there. And continues on because she comes down and notices in this block, all you have left is a three or seven. And despite having a seven right there, she puts a seven here to avoid that seven and a three right there. So you got two fives right here. You got two sevens right there. Okay, this is a problem. She hasn't noticed it and she's not using the conflict checker in the app. So how does she get out of it? She goes over here and puts a seven right there. And then she starts looking here in row two and then she figures it out. And it's very amazing how she works herself out of this mistake blunder that she had made. And before I show you how she does it, I want to hear from you. How well can you backtrack once you make a mistake? I mean, do you just give up? Do you undo all the digits? Do you restart from the beginning? I end up doing that quite a bit. Or do you just find some other way? Please, please drop in the comments. Let me know and share with the other viewers. I would love a better way of fixing the mistakes and hopefully I can get to the point where I can do it like Tan Tan. So what Tan Tan does is she looks here and says, this isn't right. I think she realizes that it should be uh, something else should be able to go there. She should be able to make a solve if she can't. So she moves the three here, the six here, the seven here, and the five right there. Okay. And then she goes back and she goes, okay, where can an eight go in here? Because of this eight and eight, this has to be the eight. That's got to be the six. And then sees the seven goes, this is the seven and that's the three. And it fixes everything, right? Now there's only one seven here and there's only one five up in block Two. I thought this was so cool when I saw that. And she realized she's about two minutes into the puzzle at this point. So made, did all this solve, made the mistake, and just was able to backtrack within like five seconds and fix it. And what it leads to then is she comes across row three and notices with this nine that that's a nine and that's a one. And then comes up to row two and sees a six and goes out to six and that's a three. And then she puts a one and a three right there. And then comes all the way down here to row nine, uses my neat naked triple trick, says, hey, I got a three to one right here, three repeated. I just need a one, three, four. So she solves the four, the one, and the three all very quickly. And then does the eight and the four right here. Notices there's no four up in block three, so that's a four, that's an eight, and then comes down and solves this eight and the six. So Tan Tan finished this puzzle in about two minutes and 24 seconds. To me, that's unbelievable, even making a mistake. Now, see how quickly she solves this next puzzle from the 2023 World Sudoku Championship. Thank you so much for watching.